Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make a dashboard filter control act as a pinned filter for the dashboard. Dashboard filters are pure on canvas filters which means that any values that I select on a specific filter control is applied to the visualization on that specific canvas. Notice that in this workbook I have two different canvases and both of the canvas have a dashboard filter bar and city is a common filter control. But there is no relationship between this city filter control and the city filter control on the sales analysis canvas of this workbook. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use the parameter binding functionality to pass the values of a filter control on a dashboard filter across the different canvases in a specific workbook. To do this, let's start by creating a parameter. I'm going to open the binding surface and use a quick action link to create a parameter. So when I create a parameter, as you can see, the parameter is automatically created and it's also bound to the list filter. Let's quickly review the parameter definition. Pretty simple definition of text data type, possible value set to any and no initial value. So this parameter is now bound to the city list filter, which means that any values that the user selects from the list filter can be accepted by this parameter. This parameter can hold those values. So the city list filter is now bound to this city parameter. I'm going to go to the sales detailed data canvas and open up the city filter control on this dashboard filter bar and bind this filter column to the same parameter that we just created. So what we have done so far is with a simple UI click, we have bound a parameter to a city filter and the same parameter is bound to other city filters across the canvas in the workbook. By way of binding, any values that the user select is now passed to the parameter. And uh, when you navigate to the sales detail data, because the parameter is bound to the city filter, these values are automatically reflected on the city filter on this specific canvas. So what this has allowed the author to do is with a couple of simple UI clicks, make a dashboard filter control act as a pinned filter for this particular workbook. Let's try to also bind the order priority and product category filter controls. So I'm going to open up order priority, open the binding surface, create the parameter. Parameter is created and it's bound to this list filter. Let's do that real quick for product category as well. Open the binding surface, create the parameter. I'm going to navigate to sales detail data and drop in order priority to the filter control grammar and also product category and bind the same parameter to order priority and the same parameter to the product category filter control. Now, um, any values that I select for these filter controls that has the parameter bound to, those values are now reflected on other canvases that have the same parameter bound to those filter control. Just to conclude this demo, I do want to load this workbook as a consumer would see in a viewer mode and then interact with the filter controls. Let's change the order priority values to include low and medium and uh, open up a product category to include office supplies and technology as well. And if you navigate to the other canvas in the workbook, you would see those values getting reflected. So in summary, binding allows the author to now dynamically pass these values on filter controls across the different canvases in the workbook and make a dashboard filter act as a pinned filter for your dashboard scope. Thank you for watching this video.